Hi, I'm Tom Campbell, director at the Metropolitan Museum, and I'm in our galleries of drawings and prints, where we've just opened an exhibition, Infinite Jest, Caricature and Satire, from Leonardo to Levine, which is on until March in 2012. I'm with the curators of the exhibition, Nadine Orenstein and Constance McPhee. Looking around, I see you've divided the show into different themes. Mm -hmm. Could you tell me a little bit about? Yes. <laughs> well, we start out by establishing really the language of humor, how artists uh, conveyed humorous ideas in different ways um, through exaggerating bodies, gathering faces and showing profiles, comparing people to animals or objects. We then have a section that has to do with social satire, where we see human weakness on display, uh, people eating too much, people gambling, uh, extreme fashion. I'm amazed, for example, looking at some of the caricatures of fashion. I mean, we look at contemporary fashion yeah. and the extreme <laughs> shapes. You know, we've just had our McQueen <laughs> yes. exhibition with some very exaggerated <laughs> yes. costumes, but looking at some of these with the padding or the bustles, yes. it makes you realize there was a long antecedent to the kind of exaggeration of, of McQueen costumes. <laughs> I should say that um, a lot of these caricatures were showed, sold in shops, print shops. People would stand outside the shops. These caricatures would be lined up in the windows, and people from all different classes would stand out there talking about them. And it really was a common point of discussion about political subjects. I mean, much I mean, the way sort of vicious. Yes, and it's much the way the Daily Show or Saturday Night Live works today. It's a, a common experience that everybody would be talking about. And then you go through to political satire. Very few people come off as uh, perfectly pure and wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> we have a little section that focuses on Napoleon because he is so well known. And in fact, caricaturists and satirists like Gilray helped to establish our contemporary view of Napoleon. So there's that wonderful print of Napoleon and George III and, and George III sort of looking at him as this tiny little figure. I mean, that really sets in our mind this image of this tiny general. Whereas actually, he was of average height. But today, most people would think of him as short. Yes, fantastic. <laughs> the show comes all the way through to the modern day. Yes. Do you see commonalities, common threads that run all the way through here? Yeah. Well, people like David Levine really come out of the tradition of 19th century caricature artists who made these images of well-known celebrities with big heads and very small bodies. We have you know, a caricature of Delacroix or a caricature of Victor Hugo by Daumier. That's very much the tradition that David Levine was following. So you really see the continuity of approaches over time, but each one building on what came before it. I love the Levine, uh, Klaus Oldenburg, as, yeah. as, one, of his, as yeah. one of his own works of art. Yes, yeah. he's yeah. shown as the soft toilet. Right. And uh, if you look at him closely, you think he's simply wearing a cap, but then you realize that's the toilet. <laughs> <laughs> I see museums come in for quite a good ribbing as well. Yes, they do. Um, crowds at exhibitions are nothing new. Uh, there are many prints, especially from the 19th century, when public exhibitions really were established as something people enjoyed going to for entertainment. And from the very beginning, they were crowded and popular. And some of our funniest prints show people trying to get up to the top floor of the uh, Royal Academy Exhibition in London, tumbling down the stairs. Um, people not that would ever happen today with <laughs> modern <laughs> health and safety <laughs> regulations. <laughs> now, we, we tend to think of museums as being serious places. Um, how do you feel a, a show like this fits into the Metropolitan Museum. There's a lot of serious things going on. Humor is a very important way of dealing with some of those things, not only to give you immediate pleasure, but also to help you consider them. And, and sometimes it's a way of getting past uh, being too serious and too analytical and act to actually get to the heart of the matter without even realizing it. Well, <laughs> congratulations to you both. It's, it's a wonderful exhibition. <laughs> it's on uh, exhibition at the Metropolitan until March 2012. I strongly advise you to visit. It's a cornucopia of humor and satire, and there's a beautiful book that accompanies the exhibition. So come and see it. Thank you.